What's all this? It's the French flag, of course. What? There are no French. You see, Ian, there's the Eiffel Tower in Paris. Well, I've never been there. It doesn't matter whether you've been there or not. Don't believe it. Myths and fairy tales. Next, you'll say that Russia exists too. Hmm. Well, there is a Russia channel. Nope, not enough evidence. Could be fabricated. Are you bleeding dust, man? Nothing on tonight. Tomorrow morning, I'll prove to you that Russia and France exist. Behind this door are Frenchies and Ruskies. This will prove it. Bonjour, Yann. Il y a un Paris et une France, bien sûr. Good morning, Ian. There is a Paris and a France, of course. И, конечно, Москва и Россия существуют, Ян. Я был там всего несколько дней назад. And of course, Moscow and Russia exist. I was just there a few days ago. After all this evidence, what would you think about a person who still didn't believe that Russia and France existed? Almost half of all Americans don't believe in heaven and hell. Seven hundred seventy four near death experiences happen per day in the United States alone. Nineteen million Americans have had an NDE. Totals from the rest of the world closely match this. There's no agenda from the vast majority of people who've had an NDE. I had an NDE. I saw heaven and it was glorious. I've had an NDE. I saw heaven and while there, I saw hell from far away. There was a man standing there that I immediately knew was Jesus. I felt like I was in the presence of someone that I had always known. My spirit felt it more than my mind did. I said, you're Jesus, aren't you? He gave me that smile that only Jesus can give, and I knew the answer without him having to say anything. We walked and talked for a while beside the river of life. One of the many things I loved there was that Jesus and I did not verbally speak to each other. He knew and answered my thoughts, and I didn't need to open my mouth. In a few moments, I will prove to you that a spirit world exists and that this physical world is not all there is. Physical items can be measured, length times width times height. For example, a box. Sometimes you will see the outward physical signs of love. For example, when a young man blushes at a woman. That is the effect of inner thoughts and love. The actual thoughts and love are non-physical. Information is spiritual. How can we know this? We'll simply add an extra gigabyte of information to this flash drive. Will it weigh more? No. Another way to look at it, ask yourself this question. What is the length times width times height of justice? Honesty, integrity, nastiness, evil, jealousy. Some takeaway points. There is a spiritual existence. You are a spiritual being. You can exist without your body. Once you leave your body, where will you go? Heaven or hell? Let's be clear here. If you die without Jesus, you will still exist and you will even get a resurrection body, but you will end up in the lake of fire forever. God has provided the only way, the Lord Jesus Christ, the only Son of the Most High God. Both the Son, the Father, and the Holy Spirit are all God. They are not three gods, but one God with three persons. This is called the Trinity in Christianity. There is an alternative to this dreadful fate. You can follow the Lord Jesus. He commands, Come, follow me. Luke 18.22 In order to be saved from hell and go to heaven and be with the Lord forever, you must open a dialogue and a relationship 
the Lord Father through His Son, the Lord Jesus, then you must repent. Seek the Lord while He may be found. Call on Him while He is near. Let the wicked forsake their ways, and the unrighteous their thoughts. Let them turn to the Lord, and He will have mercy on them, and to our God, for He will freely pardon. Isaiah 55, 6-7 the sinner's prayer is a Christian term for a prayer that is said when someone wants to repent of their sin, ask God for forgiveness and state belief in the life, death, and saving resurrection of Jesus Christ. If you declare with your mouth, Jesus is Lord, and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. For it is with your heart that you believe and are justified, and it is with your mouth that you profess your faith and are saved. Romans 10, 9-10 Millions have come to a saving relationship with Jesus Christ through church services, friends, and family leading them in a salvation prayer. However, it is not words that, in a prayer that save. Jesus Christ alone has the power to save through faith. J.D. Greer explains it well. It's not the prayer that saves. It's the repentance and faith behind the prayer that lays hold of salvation. My concern is that overemphasizing that prayer has often, though unintentionally, obscured the primary instruments for laying hold of salvation repentance and faith. The example of a sinner prayer can help you communicate with God that you repent of your sins, turn away from your sins, accept his forgiveness, and accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. And the portion about Lord is very important because when you say Lord, you mean that he is your master. That means you will follow his commands. This is the sinner's prayer by Dr. Ray Prichard. Now this is just an example, you don't have to use these exact words, but it, it's a good example to help you. Lord Jesus, for too long I've kept you out of my life. I know that I'm a sinner and I cannot save myself. No longer will I close the door when I hear you knocking. By faith I gratefully receive your gift of salvation. I'm ready to trust you as my Lord and Savior. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for coming to earth. I believe you are the Son of God who died on the cross for my sins and rose from the dead on the third day. Thank you for bearing my sins and giving me the spirit of eternal life. I believe your words are true. Come into my heart, Lord Jesus, and be my Savior. In Jesus' name, amen. Next, you should follow it up with repentance, asking the Lord Holy Spirit to show you what the truth is, and try to find a good church and followers of Christ. If you liked what you see, hit the subscribe button or share. Thank you. This has been Immersus Tech.